As with our single line lowering systems, we'll start out building our anchor point. Fish hooking our carabiner all the way through. On our rope, we'll create a figure eight on a bite to the previously stated standards. Again, fish hooking our carabiner all the way through, locking it down and backing it off quarter of a turn. The first version of the descender rack has every other bar that does not disengage from the system, as you can see here. In order to determine which way the rope goes, I need to figure out which way the bars lock into place. This bottom bar locks into place in this direction, requiring the rope to be routed through in a certain way. Once I determine which way the rope needs to be routed, I'll place the rope on top of the first bar, creating a bite on the back side to allow the locking bar to go into place. Pulling the slack out so the bar sits flush up against the rope. The next bar simply slides down into place, routing the rope over, creating another bite on the back side, allowing the next locking bar to slide down and lock into place. Again, pulling the slack out so the bar sits flush up against the rope. The next bar slides down into place, creating one more bite for the final locking bar to go into place, ensuring all six bars are engaged. Again, pulling the slack out so the bar sits flush up against the rope. Once this is done, I will attach the descender rack to my anchor point, opening up the carabiner dropping it into place, locking the carabiner down and backing it off a quarter of a turn. Grabbing both ends of my rope, the rope should not move in either direction as all six bars are engaged, checking to ensure that none of the locking bars come out. 